Hey friends, Martha Barnett from Unique here, and I'm going to talk today a little bit about contouring, highlighting, blush, and bronzer. So thanks for joining me. Let's get started. I'm gonna be using the Sculpting Trio today for my contouring and bronzing. This is a great little palette that you can get. It comes in, I believe, three different shades or tones. This one is medium. It comes, I believe, in light, medium, and dark. And the great thing about it is that when you open it up, it even comes with a little face roadmap, I like to call it, that shows you exactly where to put each shade. So let's get started with this darkest contour color. You're going to contour wherever you want your face to recede. You want to create a little bit of depth. So I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush. So I'm gonna start with this darkest color and tap into that. And I'm gonna follow the little roadmap which shows me that I want to apply some contour right in here. Now you may be thinking, why do I need to contour after I just put foundation on? Well, when you put on foundation, it makes your face all one color. And that's not how our face naturally would appear. We do have depth to our face where there are recessed areas and highlighted areas. So we're just gonna bring a little bit of those back now that we've used foundation. So I'm gonna apply it below my cheekbones, up here at the very top of my hairline, and then along my jaw. Now, do I do this every day? No, absolutely not. Much, most of the time I go for a much, natu much more natural look. I don't go for this much contouring and highlighting, but certainly for a special occasion, I would do this. So next let's use this middle shade and I'm going to put this underneath my eyes, down my nose, between my brows, and right across the bottom of my chin. Some people like to take just a little bit of contouring and go down the sides of their nose as well to create a little bit of extra depth there. There we go. All right, the last one that I have is a highlighting cream. And this one is gonna give you more than just the powder, it's also going to add a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shine. So I'm gonna put that one right here above the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm gonna use the little end and put just a little bit right here along my brow. There we go. All right, next up, a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use my fan brush and I'm gonna use the Beach Time Bronzer and this one is in Hermosa. And I'm just gonna swipe this across both colors. You can see it's solid on one side and marble on the other. So I'm just gonna swipe it across both and I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more color on top of that contour that I applied right there below my cheekbones. And again, across the top of my head and along my jaw. Now I'm gonna take my giant kabuki brush and go back and blend those in really well because I don't want there to be any lines of definition there. And finally, I'm gonna use Surreal Blush and a nice big fluffy brush, blush brush saying that fast. All right, and I'm gonna apply that right across the apples of my cheeks. And being an older gal, a more mature face, I apply it a little bit higher than you might normally because when I smile, it's up here. But when I'm not smiling, gravity brings everything down. So I like to go just a scooch higher with my blush to make sure that it's up here. All right, and again, I'm gonna go back and just blend that in. All right, and there you have it, folks. Blusher, bronzer, 
and contour and highlight. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Bye-bye.